Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed an example in which we have used set coils. So today in this video, we are going to discuss the same problem, but today we are going to implement a ladder logic using memory bits and latching. We will look at the example first. Example 7. If switch 1 is on, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be still on. If switch 2 is on, then LED 3 and LED 4 will be on. And then if switch 2 is off, then LED 3 and LED 4 will be still on. So here we will be using a memory bit or two memory bits and implement latching. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. We will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. We will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then we will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. We can select any one of these. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated figure configuration. I will click on yes. Then I can also go to serial line and select protocol as Modbus ASCII TMS2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will select it as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram for the example. I will click on a full screen mode here and zoom into it. Then I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. So here I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. I will also add symbol as switch 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as M0 which is a memory bit. I will also add symbol as memory 1. Yes. So here when switch 1 is on memory 1 will be true. That is when switch 1 is true or false memory 1 stores that data. Here we will implement latching. For that I will insert another normally open contact here and connect it by drawing a line like this. Then we will assign address to this contact same as memory that is M0 memory 1. So here when switch 1 is on memory 1 will be true and then when we turn off switch 1 memory 1 will be still true. So this is called latching. We will use this memory bit to turn on switch 1 to turn on to turn on LED 1 and LED 2 and then when we turn off switch 1, LED 1 and LED 2 will be still on. Then we will add a new rank here. I will insert one normally open contact and two coils. I 
I will connect the second coil by drawing a line like this. And then I will assign address to the contacts as I 0 0.1. I will also add symbol as switch 2. Yes. Sorry. I will assign address to the contact as M0, that is memory 1. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q0.0 .0 and Q0.1. And then I will add symbol as LED1, yes, and then I can also add symbol here. I will click on it and type as LED2 and then click on apply. So here when switch 1 is on memory 1 will be true and then when memory 1 will be true LED1 and LED2 will be on and then if we turn off switch 1 memory 1 will be still true because we have implemented latching here and then when memory 1 will be true LED 1 and LED 2 will remain true. Then we will draw a ladder logic for LED 3 and LED 4 in a different way. We will add a new rung here. We can also draw ladder logic for LED 3 and LED 4 in the same way as we have drawn for LED1 and LED2. But I am going to show you another method of implementing this logic. I will insert a normally open contact here and a coil. And then I will assign address to the contact as I0.1 which is switch 2. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.2. I will also add symbol as LED 3. Yes. So when switch 2 is on, LED 3 will be on. And when switch 2 is off, LED 3 will be off. But we need when switch 2 is off, LED 3 should be still on. So we will insert a normally open contact here and connect it like this. Then we will assign address to this contact same as LED 3 that is Q 0.2. Q 0.2. So here when switch 2 is on LED 3 will be on. And then when we turn off switch 2, LED 3 will be still on. And then we will add a new rank here. I will insert normally open contact and a coil. I will assign address as I 0.1 that is switch 2. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.3. I will add symbol as LED 4. Yes. So when switch 2 is on, LED 4 will be on. And then when switch 2 is off, LED 4 will also be off. But we need that when we turn off switch 2, LED 4 should still remain on. To do this, I will insert one more normally open contact here and address it as same as LED4, that is Q 0.3. I will connect it by drawing a line like this. So I will exit full screen mode here.
I will zoom out and then I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. As you can see here, when I turn on switch 1, memory 1 gets true. And when memory 1 gets true, LED 1 and LED 2 gets on. And then when I turn off switch 1, and then when I turn off switch 1, memory 1 still remains true. And when memory 1 still remains true, then also LED 1 and LED 2 still remains true. So in this case, we have used memory bit. And here, in the second one, I have not used memory bit. I have directly last outputs here. So, when I turn on switch 2, LED 3 gets true. And here, when I turn switch 2, LED 4 also gets true. And then, when I turn off switch 2, LED 3 still remains on. And also, LED 4 is still on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.